Hi everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to define, name, and label parallel and perpendicular lines. In this video, we are asked to label the following information in the diagram below. So the first bullet point says line CS is parallel to line NM. So this symbol right here means parallel to. So what we know is if two lines are parallel, they never intersect. So to show that in a diagram, we use these arrowheads on the lines. That will show that line CS is parallel to line NM. The next part asks us to show that line US is perpendicular to line UL. So this symbol right here, this upside down T, means perpendicular to. And what we learned is that perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle. So to show that line US is perpendicular to line UL, we use our 90 degree angle symbol, which is a box. Next, we're told that angle NEA is congruent to angle OEH. So to show that two angles are congruent, we use those arc marks. So I'm going to put those here for NEA and OEH. Remember, you can always vary that. You can put tick marks on these arc marks if you wanted to. And last but not least, we are told to show that L is the midpoint of GM. Well, we learned that a midpoint divides a segment into two congruent segments. So if L is the midpoint of GM, that means that segment GL is congruent to segment LM. So we use our tick marks to show that. And this is how we would label the, this information in this diagram. Nice work.